fellow babies. Once again, my horrific torture and anguish is your gain. I got a message from Budgie Breeder wanting to know about doing uh, screencasts. And I use GTK Record My Desktop. And I found a tutorial over at Got Blue? Got Blue 2? But anyway, found a uh, tutorial over at his site when I originally started doing this that was fantastic and got me up and running. And then, wouldn't you know it, I ran into a problem where I was starting to notice audio dropouts when I was doing the screencast. So I thought, no big deal, I'll just switch over to the real-time kernel. That made it worse. That made no sense. So I started doing a whole bunch of searching around, trying different tweaks and, and fixes, and nothing was working. But I finally found out how to make it work. So here is a tutorial on doing screencasts. Down and dirty, short and simple. So what you want to do is get GTK Record My Desktop. You can go to your Synaptic Package Manager and type in GTK dash record my desktop. And there you got it. And then you'll check that and install it. Alternatively, to get GTK Record My Desktop, you Go to your terminal, sudo apt get install gtk record my desktop. <laughs> and Windows users say it's difficult to install software. Anyway, once you have that, you will go to wherever your start menu or kicker is, and it'll be under your multimedia and it'll be this weird little webcam looking thing GTK record my desktop you're gonna launch that now you have GTK record my desktop and a representation of what is going on on your desktop now you can just select a window but you know you're wanting to do the entire thing so rather than I'll just show you how to do it you want to have your video and sound quality at 100% because who wants less than 100% click on advanced and it will bring up the advanced window so here's where you can give it the default path performance you're gonna want 30 frames per second that's what works best for me zero compression because it's gonna give you some extra CPU time you don't want to have to deal with and full shots at every frame so that it refreshes the entire screen I've tried it the other way trust me you don't want to do it that way sound. Now this is important. This is going to keep you from getting that choppy sound if you get the choppy sound. Channels, well I've only got one because I'm recording mono. The two most important things, frequency. 48,000. Any other frequency and it's going to be choppy. Device. By default this is going to say, uh, well, default. You want to change it to plug HW colon 0 comma 0 right there. If you don't, the combination of this and this keep it from being choppy. So if you get choppy audio, that's what you want to do. Miscellaneous. You can leave all this stuff at default. The big headache saver for you is going to be under extra options. Width 1440 height 900, that's the resolution of my screen. Rather than having to trying to get here and highlight your area and do it you know exactly just type this in and every time you start your screencast it's going to grab your entire screen whatever that resolution may be as far as width and height um, other than that you just hit record and when you're ready to stop recording you hit the little stop button down there I have to show this to you because I got two running but you hit this button right here this one here not this one here this one here and that will stop your recording the result will be an OGG file called whatever you wanted to call it and then you can take that and import it into Cinelera or whatever and convert it however you need so Hope that has helped you guys get a trouble-free screencast going, and let's see what you got.